Let's cover all of the best competitive settings for Fortnite Reload, like the best colorblind mode, best stretch resolutions, and everything else to boost the FPS even more in Fortnite. And also make sure to use Cutlass Stripes in the Fortnite item shop. If you want to have super high FPS and make your game look exactly like mine, then watch this and copy everything. First of all, on the video display settings, you want to use full screen, guys. Don't use windowed full screen, that's going to result in high input delay and cost stutter. For resolution sizes, of course you can play on native, but for me personally, 1720 times 1080 is the best one. Also the search resolution which Peterbot is using so therefore check it out. These things should be of course turned off. Your frame rate limit should be kept to a monitor refresh rate or a tiny bit higher. If you play let's say on 144Hz, you should actually be playing on something like 180 FPS just to get a little bit less input delay. Then for your rendering mode, you want to make sure to use the performance mode. It works really good now as well on AMD, so therefore don't be worried if you have Nvidia, AMD or Intel, you can literally utilize this for the best performance. Now for the graphics, you want to put your brightness to 100%, user interface contrast to 1x, colorblind mode set to protonope, set to 7 for the strength, and then for your 3D resolution, this is where it can actually achieve so much more FPS guys. If you're really struggling with FPS, you can try out 70% for your 3D res. For me personally, I play on 100, but you can definitely go down a little bit just to improve your performance in game. Viewing distance on near, textures on low and meshes on low, and of course, report performance sets you want to put on disabled. Also really important guys, you don't want to use high sound quality. This is causing stutter, make sure to put it on the low, and as well, visualize sound effects should be turned off if you're struggling with performance. If you can, of course, utilize it, it's very broken. And then in your game settings, you're just gonna scroll down all all the way until you can see replays and here you want to turn off everything. Remember to show you guys how you can fully tweak and optimize your Windows PC with my Ultimative FPS Boost Pack 2024 which you can find on my official website guys. From there on you're gonna get redirected to a Google Drive link from where you can get it guys as mentioned link in the video description. But before we do that guys it's always super important that you actually create a restore point so therefore just simply make one real quick before you apply any sort of tweaks on your PC. Then once you get it we're going to start first of all with low visual tweaks which is basically only downscaling the visual effects of your Windows PC basically giving you better performance because as you can see all of these windows here have no animations so therefore just simply apply this registry tweak here real quick to your PC. As you can see it disables all of these unnecessary animations. The only thing which I would recommend you is to maybe enable show thumbnails instead of icons and then you're already chilling and good to go. The next up we have RAM tweaks guys and in here it's super important that you go real quick into a task manager, go into performance and then under memory and then you can see okay how much RAM you have. For me it's 48 gigs of RAM so therefore what I'm going to do is select the one with 48 gigs of RAM and make sure to apply this one to my system guys. What this basically does for you guys is here under performance options advanced you can see your virtual memory. Your initial size is basically your RAM times 1024 since 1 gig of RAM is 1024 Mbit and then the double for maximum. This is going to especially help you out if you're maybe on a low amount of RAM I would say something like from 2 to 16 gigs of RAM and you maybe have Google Chrome running in the background, Fortnite, OBS and all of that. It can actually put the offload on your virtual memory making sure that your PC is still gonna run super fast even though you have tons of applications running. The next up we have the clean temporary file where you're going to right click onto it run it as administrator, make sure you go under more info and run anyway. And now with this one here, this tool will delete any sort of temporary data from a Windows PC. So therefore just simply select your one in the menu, click under yes, and it's going to delete all the temporary data somehow slowing down your PC. So therefore just run this once in a while, I would keep it on my desktop maybe even. The next up, disable useless services, this one you're also going to run as administrator. And then you can see we have a bunch of services in here which get fully deactivated with complete descriptions of every single service which gets deactivated and as well a revert button, which is super important in my opinion because if you want to apply all of these tweaks here as an example with one, you can now see they're all being applied. It's going to take only a few seconds and then they all applied. And if you realize, oh, I disabled something which I maybe actually need or which I actually didn't want to disable, you can just simply click under two and it's going to revert all the default window settings. And then as well, enable automatic performance, which basically just enables the automatic performance plan on your Windows PC. For that, just simply click under edit power plan. Then under power options on the top, you can see automatic performance. And if you're on a low to mid-end PC, you should use the high performance one. But if you're on a higher end one, you should definitely utilize the ultimate performance one. And then you gotta click under change plan settings, go under change advanced power settings. And in here now you can see wireless desktop adapter mode where you're gonna go in a power savings mode, put it to maximum performance. Then your PCI Express, link power state management, you're gonna put to off. Process power management, you're also going to open up. Then you can see minimum, which you're gonna put on 100 and maximum as well on 100. And then you're already good to go. And just simply make sure that it's enabled and you're chilling. And of course guys, the most important part is as well your ping. This is why you see FNCS winners like Mero, Asian Jeff, and many more pros use Jira Booster. The best part is with my link in the description, you can actually try it out for absolutely free guys. Jira Booster is gonna look for the best DNS server in your near, always making sure that you have the lowest and most stable ping. Even if you already have really good ping guys, it's still worth it because it's gonna make it way more consistent. The Jira Booster is gonna actively in the background search for the best DNS servers, always making sure that you have the best connection to Fortnite. As mentioned, check it out for absolutely free with the link in the description guys. Now let's set up the best NVIDIA control panel settings, go and adjust image settings, click under take me there. Then you can see all of the 
the best Nvidia settings, which you should copy 100%, guys. They're already selected here for the best performance. Especially image scaling should be turned off. Rudder uses stretch resolution actually in Fortnite. Then anti strophic filtering and anti aliasing completely turned off, except gamma correction. Background application maximum frame rate, you can kind of play around with it if you're maybe struggling with overheating on your PC. CUDA GPUs, make sure that you select your main GPU if you have multiple ones with integrated graphics. Then the low latency mode in general, you can use on on or ultra, guys. Many pros are arguing which one feels better. For me personally, it's ultra. Multi frame sample AA and off. Open GL and all of that as well on automatic. Power management mode on prefer maximum performance. Refresh rate, of course, highest available. Quality, you're gonna put as well on the high performance. Then, as well, make sure that vertical sync is completely turned off. And then you're already good to go. Apply this. And then you're already chilling. Next up, gonna change resolution. Make sure that you're under PC, under your normal native res, and that you selected the highest hertz possible. Adjust desktop color settings. Select your monitor. Scroll down a little bit here until you can find digital vibrance, which you're going to put to plus 75%. This is gonna make your game look so much better, guys. The same as well with adjust video color settings, where you as well gonna select your monitor and put your saturation as well on the 75. This is going to make Fortnite look so much better and more colorful. You can test it out for yourself or revert as well to the default ones. And if you guys wanna apply stretch resolution in Fortnite, you have to actually change it in your NVIDIA control panel or AMD settings and as well in Fortnite. Under NVIDIA, gonna change resolution. Make sure that your native one is selected and then you click under customize. Then you can see enable resolutions not exposed by display and create custom resolution. Here's an example we're going to do 1720 times 1080 with the maximum refresh rate of your monitor. Anything else you can keep on automatic and click under test. Then once you click under yes, you should see that under custom resolutions now you have 1720 times 1080, which you're going to click on under okay. And now it should appear here under custom. You can apply it now here in the NVIDIA control panel. And if you for whatever reason have black bars on the left and right side, guys, you want to click under just desktop sizes and position, go under full screen, make sure that GPU is selected. And now you should have stretch resolution over your whole entire screen. But we're not yet done here. Since you actually want to go into a window search bar, search up percenter, 10 percenter, click under local, press F on your keyboard for Fortnite game, go into save, then into config, Windows client, and in here now you're gonna find your game user settings. Open it up, scroll down all the way until you can find resolution sizes X and Y and last user confirmed one. And here you're going to actually apply 1720 times 1080 or the stretch resolution which you wanna use in Fortnite. Click under file and save and you're good to go. Now you have a fully functioning stretch resolution in Fortnite with no additional input delay. What's also one of the most important tools is your intelligence sent by list cleaner. This one you can find from the link in the video description. Just simply launch the tool and should look a little bit like this here. You have your total system memory, which is basically your RAM, your standby list and system working set and free memory. This might look confusing guys, but what you want to know is you want to have as much free memory as possible. Basically, the longer your PC runs and the more you game, your standby list is going to grow. For me, it's already 11 gigs, which means that I'm missing out on 11 gigs of my RAM, which I cannot use for gaming, basically. If I now click under purge standby list, you can see that this is gonna get cleaned up and my free memory now grew all the way back to the default value. The thing is, this is exactly what you want to have for gaming. The lower your free memory is, the more likely your PC is going to slow down and stutter and cause even potential lag in games. The list size at least you're gonna keep on 1024. Then for the free memory is lower then you're gonna take roughly half the amount of your system memory. For me it's 48 gigs of RAM so I'm gonna put in here 24,000 since of course guys 1 gig of RAM is roughly 1024 Mbit. Then you're gonna start ISLC minimized auto startup monitoring and launch ISLC on user logon so that it launches every time in the background of your PC when you start it. The next up click under enable custom time resolution, put it to 0 0.5 and keep your ISLC polling rate on 1000 milliseconds. This is gonna work the best for most of you out there. If you should have any issues, you gotta do some research on your specific PC since I don't know if you have a lower, mid or high-end PC. Then we're gonna click on the start and minimize it just simply in the background and you don't have to worry about your free memory ever again while playing Fortnite recording and all of that.